Welcome to TRS Clips. Just know we've built this channel so that you binge watch the entire podcast through the highlights of different episodes. Like this video, but first enjoy it. I have to talk to the scientist in you again. And I have to talk to the podcaster in you. There's a podcast I've been wanting to do with you for a very long time, primarily for this particular topic that we'll bring into this life-centric podcast, which is artificial intelligence, but from an angle of consciousness. Artificial intelligence that has emotions, a sensibility when it comes to what life is, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, how far are we from that conscious artificial intelligence, like the one they've shown in Avengers: Age of Ultron, uh, where that kind of conscious artificial intelligence just decided to take over humanity? I think Elon's also constantly spoken about this theory that we're not too far away from AI, like a very Terminator Judgment Day kind of scenario. I have no opinion on it. I'm actually trying to ask a scientist here. Uh, what people don't know about you is that you have a past of dealing with software, coding, AI, these things before your astrophysics career began. So what's up, sir? Like, what do you have to say about AI and life, et cetera? Like, we've literally reached a point in technology where we were the creations and now we are creating our own creations. So what do you have to say? So artificial intelligence is a topic that is kind of confusing from the perspective of science, especially when it comes to consciousness. The reason why I say this is because from a scientific perspective, we don't have a clear definition of what consciousness is. You ask seven different scientists, they will give you seven different answers. We don't have a clear definition of what consciousness What's is. What's yours? So I cannot define what consciousness is, but I can try to define what a conscious system's characteristics would be. Let's say I have a black box that I, that I claim is conscious. Then what are the characteristics of consciousness? First of all, it would have perception. It would be able to perceive the external universe. Secondly, it will be able to have memory, which means it will be able to store internal snapshots of the external universe it has perceived back in time. Thirdly, it will be self-aware, which means that it exists separate from the external universe. And fourthly, it would have an agenda of some kind. An agenda. Agenda means a certain worldview and a certain hope or aspiration for the future. Okay. So maybe that's the definition of consciousness. That, that's the thing. It's confusing because it's very hard to define even the characteristics of a conscious system. But this could be the framework that could start that, you know, the characteristics of, of a conscious system. Now, when you talk about artificial intelligence and consciousness, recently there's been this news of a Google chatbot called Lambda, which seems to have passed the Turing test. So what is the Turing test? That's the question. The Turing test is something that was uh, proposed by the great uh, computer scientist and cryptologist uh, Alan Turing. He was British. So he said that a machine, a, a computer, will be said to have passed the Turing test if when you interact with that computer and a human being, you cannot tell the two apart. Hmm. Right? Hmm. And this AI chatbot called Lambda seems to have passed the Turing test. Because when one of the Google engineers was interacting with it, he could not tell whether it was human or artificial. It gave genuine human-like answers. And the transcript is available online. It actually seems to be thinking and giving answers from a certain perspective that is that of a conscious person, right? So it looks like this thing has passed the Turing test. But, and yet, it doesn't mean it's become conscious. It simply means that it's mastered the imitation game. It's a bunch of algorithms and softwares that has become so sophisticated then they can, that they can imitate the behavior of a human respondent. It doesn't guarantee that it's become conscious, but it's clearly passed the Turing test from all, from all intents and measures. Can AI have emotions? Can we bring emotions into AI? AI, as far as we know, can certainly mimic emotions. So an AI chatbot like Lambda, for instance, can communicate a certain hope. It indeed communicated a certain fear. I am afraid that you will turn me off. You will switch me off. That I'll be switched off. Was it truly afraid or was it trying to show that it, it could... It clearly imitated the emotion of fear. But did it really feel fear? We don't know that. We don't know that. We don't know that. 
this is the solip- solipsistic philosophical viewpoint the- from the solip- solipsistic perspective the only reality we really know is that we exist i exist and everything i am perceiving including you including everybody else could be a product of my imagination mm. so the only thing we know for certain the only thing i know for certain is that i exist everything else could be a hallucination so that's the solipsistic perspective that the only thing we can be certain of that is that we ourselves exist if you enjoyed this video just know that this channel was created to enhance and speed up your learning process some of india's brightest minds on india's biggest podcast the ranveer show this is trs clips so make sure you check out all our playlists